There he is, everybody! Stand up, salute, clap, round of applause! It's Andrew Manet! <laughs> I wish I could get that intro every day. I know. See, that's why I do that. So I'm glad you're here. And um, Connor McNamara over here. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these guys are, are, are been nice enough to stop by. Welcome back. Morning Grind 997 Kiss FM. A, they are here in representing the Muni, Springfield's Muni, and, and, and talking about Monty Python's Spam A Lot, a new musical. Lovingly ripped off from the motion picture Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, director is Mac Warren. And like I mentioned, we have choreographer Andrew Manerich here in the studio with us and artistic director Connor McNamara here. And uh, very happy to have both of you here. Connor, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And congratulations on everything that's uh, going on with you at the Muni right now. you got some big things happening for you this season. And this isn't your first go, so you've been around for a while. Is that right? You were just talking to Andrew. Yeah. You guys have been together for a while now. Yeah, Andrew and I have been working on and off for about 10 years. Um, I've been involved with the Muni for about seven now. Cool. Um, working behind the scenes. This this season will be my first chance to actually get to perform on stage, which I'm very, very excited about. Nice. Born and raised Springfield, um, resident. Yep, born and raised, uh, you know, whole, all 27 The whole shebang. Yeah. Wow. All right. He's like, how old am I? <laughs> I played a kid oh, that God. was 35 once, but I don't remember. Um, well, it's good to have you here. The artistic director, real quick, responsibilities for a show like this. Uh, for a show like this, what we worked closely on was being involved with the painting, the scenic design, the, even the way that the lights are set up, working with, working with props, costumes, you know, to get a little input and making sure that everything is cohesive so that everyone's working together so that everyone's vision you know molds and we all get a universal uh, idea about the show fantastic the show's brought to you by paul palazzolo as well and uh, andrew break down this this a little bit because you you kind of were correcting me or not really correcting me but filling me in just a little bit more on the uh, the details uh, on this actual show so for people who are familiar with the the movie monty python and the holy grail uh, this has uh, got its own uniqueness to it as well, correct? It really does. Um, it's actually, they say, inspired by Monty Python and the Holy Grail because it does have little aspects of Monty Python's Flying Circus and um, a bunch of his other comedies and whatnot. So it's if, if you're just a Monty Python fan in general and haven't even seen um, the Holy Grail, it really is a, a combination of all of those together. And uh, really gives the audiences not only even if you haven't seen any Monty Python a good a good laugh. It's a, it's a gut buster of a show, that's for sure. The songs are funny, you know. I mean, they're hilarious. The, the lines and the quotes from from both the the Broadway musical and the movie are just fantastic. Um, and it's basically a story of King Arthur and his search for the Holy Grail. Yes, and yes. his band of weirdos that follow him around. Now, is it the Knights of the Nye or not? I mean, the Knights of the Nye, are they are they are they, are they referred to as the Knights of the Nye in Knights this? Of or knee, the, the or the knee. knee. Yeah. 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 You make an appearance. Um, Arthur's got the, the, the his Knights of the Round Table. Okay. Where there's a whole song devoted just for them, which Andrew has choreographed beautifully, of course. Best, show, <laughs> best song in the show. Duh. And, and the, uh, the role of King Arthur went to... Uh, Mr. Brad Barding. Okay, that's a big role. It's a very big role, but he has filled those shoes very, very well. Nice. And then also, too, something you mentioned, uh, Connor, was that you know the the cool thing about you know it, when you usually do a, a show, there's there's sometimes people have to play multiple roles, and they mm -hmm. try to hide that. They try to like you know, uh, oh the, that wasn't me. I, you know, that was somebody. This one, they embrace that. They totally embrace that. Yes, and playing multiple roles. Yes, it's uh, it's playing multiple roles. It's a, it's a huge credit to the actors themselves yeah. making each of those characters individual. So it's not the same character saying different lines. Right. And so and who's got the toughest part do you think in this whole thing because there's one that plays I think several different roles, like three different characters. There's actually one I think he plays six different characters. Holy moly. Um, and I, I would say everybody pretty much has almost the same because there are so many quick changes in costumes and whatnot that one second they're on stage and then they think, I believe, the, the shortest one may be around 15 or 20 seconds to get a different costume oh, on and come geez. back on. Uh, and, and be ready. And, I would screw that up real and, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, well, even, even to the point of some males become females and then some females become males at a certain point, it's it's just one of those shows that uh, it's just a, an incredible uh, talent in order to be able to, to manage time like that. So all the actors have done really well with this one. Yes. Well, and the fun thing we always talk about with the Muni is that it's outside. It's, it's, it's you know, 
uh, a different environment. Sarah, you know, is is a is a proud uh, attender of these events. She, I mean, I think one year, what did you go to? Like almost every single one well, of the. Well, we had friends you at every show to, yeah. too. <laughs> I remember when she came in, she's like, "Gosh, now I got to go to this one." Well, this then she's like, "I had so much fun." Everyone so you know is in these. It's fun watching them up there. And and you know, there's outside seating, like on the grass too. It's not like you have to sit in a, a an actual theater seat. Right. Yeah, they've got a whole picnic area even, so you can bring um, lawn chairs, blankets. Um, you can bring your own picnic, drinks, whatever. We took um, Magic Kitchen kind of one stuff. time. It was, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. And these shows start this weekend, is that right? The the, the 12th is the first show, is that correct? Yes, uh, opening night this Friday. Okay, and then it goes for three weekends, and that's kind of how the Muni does it, right? I mean, well, they, the Muni has changed. So if you've gone to the Muni in the past, um, this is the second year that they've done this, but um, they used to run for two full weeks, and now they run for three weekends. So it'll run Friday, Saturday of this weekend, uh, Thursday through Saturday of the next two weekends after that. So. Okay, so the 27th, the weekend of the 27th will be the last round of shows, the 25th through the 27th. Show started about 8.30. Um, and, and you can get tickets online, themuni.org. Is there any other way you can get tickets as well? Yes. You can actually uh, call the Sangamon Auditorium box office at 217-793-6864. Okay, cool. And this is a show. Let's, I mean, if you're going to rate a show, like give it a, a PG-13 kind of a rating, for because you know some people might think, oh, those graphics look great. It looks like a little, I mean, take my, my kid to this. I don't know if it would be a kid-friendly show, Andrew. Is that correct? We've had some... Uh, Younger, younger adults, we'll call them, watch it, and I would definitely say PG-13. Um, if it, it has some moments that uh, might have some humor that is more adult, but uh, as long as you're okay with your kids going, then I don't see any major problem with that. But uh, but definitely not something for for the wee ones. Right, absolutely. And then so, but there are shows again. If you want to go to the muni.org, the, the spam a lot is the one that really kicks it off. Okay, this season, and then you've got some other fantastic shows. Real quick. Uh, why don't you guys kind of split them up and talk about the other shows that you guys have going on this season? Uh, first, of course, is Spamalot, then followed by Susical, which is your kids' show. Yep. Um, based on all of the a lot of the Doctor Seuss stories, and then we have West Side Story, which is your third show, which Connor stars in. So, if you want to take over from there. Yeah. Um, West Side, you know, it's the. I mean, I'm sure everyone you you know you've heard the song. You know the you know the songs. Um, that one's directed by Anna Bussing, and that one's going to be the third show in August and. Now, the one that I mentioned to you, you know, that my mom screamed and hollered about, you know, my dad watching that movie and screaming about, you know, get the kids out of it, that she would force us to watch the West Side Story. She would, <laughs> like, that was one that we would have to watch, and, and it was like, oh, my God. But, I mean, you know, come on. I mean, you know, how can you not? That's a great, yeah. it's a, cl- I mean. It's, it, it's, it's absolutely classical. You know, we'll, we'll be standing in the elevators on our way to rehearsals, and we just start whistling the songs, <laughs> and somebody else will come in. You can do this, too. You walk around just to start snapping just <laughs> out, of, out of the blue. practice the snap with my <laughs> right hand. It's tough, man. Yeah. Here, like, <laughs> Those are great, great songs, man. And they're, and they're known by people who have never even seen them, mm-hmm. too. I mean, you just yeah. re- recognize the song. And then the last show of the season, something that Andrew is very excited about. Oh, I'm so excited. The last show is Cabaret, and I will be playing the uh, MC, which is, if you don't know the show, the uh, one of the lead characters in it. And, um, again, one of the classic shows that Muni hasn't done in quite some time. This is Muni's 50th anniversary year. So huh? they've uh, they've been around in the community for quite some time, and they're bringing back some of these older shows to to give us a little bit different taste of, of new and old theater at the same time this season. Let so. me really break it down for you, Andrew's part, okay? The MC is a consummate master of ceremonies <laughs> who oversees the goings-on at the Kit Kat Club, the hottest spot in Berlin. All I know is I'm running around shirtless. So I have to hit that gym pretty hard. <laughs> which, which is worth the price of admission. Really. <laughs> so no Kit Kats for Andrew until you know, Absolutely the, the, not. the rest of that show. Uh, you guys are fantastic. You guys are great. Again, good luck and uh, break a leg you know, on all these shows. And, and, and um, again, if you want tickets, themuni.org, the best place to go to get all the information about every single one of the shows. You can find out more information. And, and again, I don't want you guys to get out of here before I mention, this is a volunteer nonprofit deal. Man, this is run all by volunteers. That from from the, the concession stands to I mean er, the, the people doing the lights and the everything is volunteer stuff. And you guys do such a fantastic job. So hats off to all you guys. Thank well, you. Thank you. All right, and the muni.org, go there. Celebrating 50 years at the West Lake Shore Drive site, a reception in honor of the anniversary will also take place on top of the hill on opening night immediately after Spamalot. So you know Andrew's gonna have a lot of fun at that. If there's an after party there, Andrew's yes. all about it. Okay. All about Cookies galore. Party. You coming back for cabaret? Yes. Do you have so. a dance number for us here in the studio, please? A dance number for Can you just come one? in without your shirt on and sit there <laughs> and do I'll a have dance? costumes if I can come in my later hose. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Tail Cruz coming up next. This is Fifth Harmony. It's called Worth It featuring Kid Inc. Bad Things Said Good by Intern 
Patty Cakes next on the Morning Grind Kiss FM.